going. Bye so today. let's lock in, bro. Um, YouTube, everyone, welcome back to the channel to another coaching session with the boy Fresh. And we're going to see if we can get you. Whoa, 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 Fresh, what's going on, man? Fresh, you're fucking me up, bro. We're not even, not, the intro's not even done yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, nah, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're chilling. We're not gonna fight just yet, bro. I'm gonna set you up and then we'll have some fights. Yo, okay. you fucked me yeah, up there, bro. Cool. All right, YouTube, sorry about that. Fresh, uh, you wanted to you wanted to fry me. So, we're gonna start off nice and easy. Can you stand on this head glitch for me? Movement. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna test your overall awareness as an AR, just see kind of how you're approaching these scenarios. So, I'm gonna try and push you from here. So, my starting position is here. When I say go, I want you to try and kill me. All right, bro? Okay. Cool, let's go. First thing first, I'm going round to see if you're gonna to react to it. So talk to me. Watch the kill cam, please. Make sure you watch all the kill cams, okay? So I should have no, told you a bit earlier. To no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Just oh, make man. sure to watch it. So let's talk through that first gunfight. If you come back to the head glitch. So the first thing I did was like, I didn't want to push that head glitch because yeah. I it come back towards me, please. I knew, right, you were gonna be pre-aiming me. So for me, I didn't want to just run out in the open, which I think majority of people do. Is that yeah, something you yeah. think you would have done? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Run wide and open. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, again, it's just about acknowledging it. I think when you actually think about it, you probably think that's not the best play, but your muscle memory is to take the quickest what? route. So, what from you one say? of your past videos, you, yeah. what you do is you like to, um... Let me see. Going for that little dolphin now? Go on, hit me with it again. Go on, hit me with it. Okay, I see you with the movement fresh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> It's because it's cause you changed your, one of your uh, buttons to, to Yeah, that's dive. right. Yeah, I, I did. You're very, very smart, Fresh. I like this. So, let, okay, let's go through that again, the actual movement. So, just the first thing about the way you're approaching this, I want you to yeah. think logically about where the person's positioned. So, let's just say I'm on that head glitch, right? Moving if you come back towards me, please. You can stand with me. If I'm going to get across, right, I don't want a dolphin dive to the right. But why? Because I'm going to be exposed, and then he's going to kill me very easily, okay? So, yeah, what yeah. I want to do is I actually want a dolphin dive to the left, and then jump across. So let's just practice that little escape route. So you want a dolphin dive around there. You want to get into cover. So go for the dolphin dive. So let's stop for one second. See, 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 that's the thing. Do I have to hold it? So let's stop for one second. So the fact that you're asking these questions and you're struggling slightly, that tells me you want to improve, right? But I know you don't put the work in, in the private game, okay? Um, yeah. When you have a mechanic like this, you need to be practicing it because think about it, right? If you're playing yeah, a real yeah, game, yeah. you're going to go to your comfort spot. You're going to go to your I, comfort move, but you're I not going to practice this dolphin dive because it's a new mechanic. Yeah. So this is what, yeah, go for it. What are you going to say? No, I just, I just recently switched on to it. And you know what I just switched on? I switched on to um, um, R1 and L1 to, for, to fire. So, Okay, I, so you went to the, um, the bumpers instead of the triggers. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Are you, you on default what, controller bro? or? I'm on. I'm on the scuff controller. Okay, cool. Yeah, what were you gonna say? Is it helping you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my right, my right bottom trigger is yeah. to crouch, you know, crouch and to dive. I guess. Okay, so but there's uh, actually I'm a way you can put the. We won't do it now, but you can put your dive to a separate button. So the way I've got it on my scuff is the dive is my left button on my side of my controller, so I dive like that. But anyway, we can move on. I don't, I don't want to waste too much of your time on that, but the actual concept, again, we'll go through that, and then you can execute separately, right? So when you have a bit more time. But again, that's something we want to work on, okay? So the first thing I did was evade your gunfight by diving to the left and then getting out there, okay? Now, could you come back towards me? Right. When you saw me do that, you saw me on the minimap, you said, okay, Arv's going to the right. We need to be quicker. The fact that I caught you sprinting, okay, is what we need to work on. Because think about it, the time that I take from going from here all the way round towards this area, you should not be sprinting. You should already be at this position or you should be standing here. So talk to me about the move. Why did you decide to jump here? Because sometimes what they like to do is they try to fake. They, <laughs> they, come, back, they come over here, like see me, you see me? They try to fake, they go like this and then they come back. Okay. So that's that's why I, I try to I try to minimize, you know, I try to preempt this. Yeah. And then I have that. So, so one thing I, we have to I, look at is the minimap, yeah. right? That's the big reason yeah, why I have yeah. minimap on is so that you yeah, can yeah. kind of stop those things from happening. Which is I understand why you did that, but again, we got to maximize our chance. So when but you're going through That's huge. That's huge for me. Because yeah. I'm not the type of player 
that that looks at his mini map most of the time. Okay. Well, we need to change about, that that habit from yourself, right? We need yes, to make you yes, the type of yes. player that does that because uh, it's such yeah. an advantage, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, this yeah, game, yeah. we're gonna help your mini map winner. So let's keep going through. Do you wanna stand in the same spot and we'll try something different? Yeah. Cool. So whenever you're ready, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a different way of killing you now. Whenever you're ready, let me know. Okay. All right. I want to see how you react to it. Okay, so I made you weak. You backed off. You didn't really challenge me. So I'm going to go through. Oh, okay. shit. You went through? Oh, so okay. what did you... What do you think you could have oh. done there? To, so you look at the minimap oh, there. No. I had a I large amount of time. I, I wasn't paying attention to the minimap. Okay, so let's try again. But can you see why the minimap's important there? Because you would have... You should have reacted yeah. to that. So that yeah, tells yeah, me... Yeah. If you come back towards me... That tells me you didn't look at the minimap for about 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Honestly, you should be looking at so maybe every here. second come, come or two. Exactly. Yeah, there you go, Fred. That's I, what I like to do. That. You should so be I, frying I, me. All you need to be yeah. doing is changing your position. That was perfect yeah. what you did. Now, let's talk about the actual gunfight. Because I think one thing you're doing from what I can see is you're not strafing in your gunfights. Oh, so like that. Strafe left and right. Shit, you really like fucking me up, don't you? <laughs> I'm just watching your fucking movie. Yeah, I know. So we're going to talk about the strafe and why it's important, okay? So talk to me through it. Do you normally strafe in your fights or not really? Uh, Actually, yeah, I do sometimes because I know so, okay, it's so again, for people I, to I know this. Sorry to interrupt you. These things about sometimes, we need to make guarantees. For example, if I asked yeah. you, do you aim in during gunfights, what would you say? I'd say yes. You would say yes, right? You wouldn't say, yeah. oh, sometimes I walk around hip fire, right? No, you, it's a guarantee. You always... You always aim in. Same yes, thing with course. sliding. Same thing with um, strafing. You should always be strafing. Just to show you, could you stand still? Oh. Sorry, uh, could you stand still and just aim in at me? Like, stand right there, aim in at me. All I want you to do is just aim in. See how strong is um, aim assist right now? Without doing anything, how strong would you yeah, say it is? Yeah, it doesn't even move. It doesn't, it doesn't move at all? Now just strafe all. for me slightly. Okay. So, so now <laughs> it's trying to connect. To Let's you. show everyone yeah, at home. So yeah. could you stand? Could you stand there? Just walk past my screen, please. So this is me doing nothing. Just walk past me. Uh, run past my screen. So that's nothing. Now, now do it again. <laughs> you run so far away. <laughs> you don't have to run that far away. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So that's kind of <laughs> you were just running across the miles. Funny, bro. But yeah, that's kind of how strong aim assist is, bro. So imagine you're in a gunfight. You want to be utilizing it. Okay. So what I'm going to show you now is think if we can get this right, if we can get this right fresh, we'll really help you out, okay? We're going to go through a three-step program to, to challenge gunfights, okay? The first thing we want to do is as we're moving around the map, I want to use my right, right stick. I want you to use your right stick with your left stick. I want them to be together. So as I my slide right here, stick? yeah. So as you're sliding down here, right? I'm going to be standing here. All I want you to do, all I want you to do is as, come here for me. As you slide down these stairs, I want you to shoot me. But don't kill me. Just shoot me as you're sliding down the stairs. So we can work on your sliding and your centering together. Okay. Tell me why. Go for it, bro. Don't kill me if you can. Just try shoot me once or twice. Okay. So that was a dolphin dive. Yeah, I didn't mean okay. to dolphin dive, but... <laughs> you're good, you're good. Let's try that again. This time when you're going for a slide. And let's see you shoot me as you go around the stairs. Okay, good. So talk to me through that. Watch the kill come for me. Now, do you think that from your screen, because I couldn't see it, do you think that you could have sent it onto me better? Or do you think as you slid that was good? Like, what do you think from that? Um, I that looked okay, to be honest. Are you better? That looked okay. I, I don't think that was too bad. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. The thing is, I usually don't slide around corners. Okay, That's so what do you normally do? So basically, uh, what I do... Could you give me an example? Well, so let's say you're playing this map. Let's say you're playing this map. Give me an example of... Okay, let's say, for example... You I, like wanna... to, I, I like to uh, flank a lot. Okay. Make sure uh, I, I go... Let's just say they take over a, a hill, right? Yep, let's say we've got like... this hill. This hill right here, I've got this hill. My whole team's got this hill. Yeah, this hill? So yep. let's just say I walk through, and I go through here. Through this so door. so how, how the fuck are you walking through when our whole team's here? <laughs> No, let's see your starting there. Let's see your starting there. Your, st your starting spot's here. Your starting spot's here, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And right now, you're trying to break this hill. How are you going to break it? Yeah, well, first of all, I'll make sure, you know, there's no one. You know, but I am here. But I am here. Go up, go up there again. Moving. I want you to try and take me off this head glitch. Go up there again. Up here for me. Here. I want you to try and kill me with the head glitch. I'm going to fight you. Try and kill me. Watch the kill come. Okay. The problem with your approach there was you said I like to flank. Flanking isn't a way to approach gunfights. Flanking okay. is a alternative option. Okay. That can't yeah. be your... I like to flank, so I'm going to flank every time, right? Because it doesn't work like that. Because, for example, this hill, if we have... We have yeah? But that's the thing, yeah. right? So I, I want you to stop relying on the flanking and work on, okay, I like to flank as a tool, right? But it's not the only option. It should just be one of my options. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that's that's why I told you that's one of the options yeah, that okay. I do that I like. So if I'm... Let's just say I'm trying to get it to this hill... Yeah, I try to wait for my team so we can all like pinch it together. Because okay. I don't, I don't like. I've been telling, I've been opening, like I have open mic, and I've been telling my team, do not go in one by one, because that's that's basically a waste of time. You're giving them time, and you're, you're responding somewhere far away. So I tell them wait for each other, then we go and we pitch in together from both sides or whatever side, de depending on the hill, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. sure, for sure. What I want to do, though, is we can talk about that when we do like a VOD review. I want to work on your mechanics, right? So what we could do in a yeah, 1v1. Yeah, yeah. So if you come towards me, because the yeah. way you said makes sense, but it's about actually implementing it, right? So I want you to do this. This is what we're going to do. This is your starting spot, okay? Moving. This right here, bro. This is what I'm going to do. I want you to start with a three-step plan. So the first part of the plan is I want you to jump behind cover. Now, as you jump behind cover, all I want you to do is move your right stick towards where you think I'm going to be. So you're going to be jumping while centering, okay? Oh, no. So I'm going to be standing here. Oh. I don't want you to shoot me just yet. This is my starting position. So I want you to go around that corner and jump and center onto me. Okay. Now, I want you to do it again. And this time, try and shoot me as you come around the corner. Hold on. I got to learn my... So stop. So one thing that I can see that you're doing is you're jumping a bit late. You're jumping around there and then looking. But could you stand there for where I was, please? Let me show you how it kind of looks. And I want you to tell me, is this a good way of approaching or not? Ready? Can you see as I ran through, you had so many times to shoot me. Mm, okay. Yeah. Can so you what do I want you to and kill me. Yeah, so sure. But this is how... so. This is how you did it, and I'll show you how I would kind of do it. So stand back okay. a bit. Let's just say, let's just say you're standing on this head. You can go prone. You could be as ratty as you want. Okay. What you Let were kind of doing it. was this. You were kind of running and then jumping and then looking. Like that looked actually a little bit cleaner. But you were kind of running, and when you were standing here, then you were jumping. But you gave oh, me so much time. Okay. Try and kill me. Try and kill me as I do that. So you see, I'm here, right? You yeah, basically yeah. made me one shot. Now, I'm going to show you how I would do it. Ready? Okay. So, what did I do wrong there? Well, when I jumped, I hit my head on the left. So, I didn't go behind cover, okay? So, looking back at that, you hit some really good shots there. So, now, this is, yeah. again, about self-correcting. So, I now can look at that and say, right, when I watch the kill cam, look where I died. I died here. Why? Because I didn't jump properly. So, what I would do in this scenario, okay, is I would say, right, I don't actually want to jump and shoot him because he's in a good spot. I want to do this. Yeah. I would dolphin dive, get into cover, and then snake it. So it just depends yeah, on the scenario. You got to learn how to, like, my movement as in dolphin yeah. diving and try to slide. It's yeah. like I'm trying to get used to it on my scuffs. Oh, no, that, uh, absolutely. So now, now, be honest with me. So how often do you play a week, would you say? A week? For sure, twice a week. Okay, cool. Now, during that time, how often do you warm up? Uh, I'd be honest, I, that realistically, I, before I, your games, after, what was that, I see, after I seen your uh, your videos, uh, probably like 30 minutes now. So, you do 30 but, minutes warm up a day, but, but before, yeah, uh, uh, I probably just shoot bots for fun, okay. And do you find but, it helping you and um, improving your gameplay? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. That's My good, shot. that's good. 
So okay. now I want you to really focus on those mechanics. So like right now, the dolphin dive is something that you, you know when to use it. It's just a little bit inconsistent, right? So really focus on, okay, applying the dolphin dive and then shooting bots. Like really work on those specific mechanics, okay? Okay? I'm trying, I'm trying to... Duffing you don't, you don't need to practice up, it but... now because I, it will take a little bit of time. I don't want you to waste your time here. I want to teach you about the approach to the gunfight. So the next okay. thing I want to show you oh. is it's kind right. of the step that I want to go through. Okay, so the first step is to center onto your opponent using either a jump, a slide, or a slide cancel. Okay. Excuse me. How 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 long how how large is your is your um, icon for your your um. Your fucking what you may call it? How what do you large mean, right? is your your uh, <laughs> your aiming in your recoil? How your, large is my recoil? What do you mean? Yeah, how large is your recoil? How large is my recoil? Yeah, the recoil uh, circle, the white one. Oh, when you aim in. okay, okay. I was I was very confused by that question. Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Ready? I have to apologize. Uh, I don't know what. Where is it on the thing? Do you know my crosshair? My crosshair yeah. is on larger. Larger? Yeah. I was just wondering. Okay. That no, was good, right? Yeah. And so my I'm, crosshair is on larger. On, I'm playing on... Uh, on... 98 field of view, by the way. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm on 97. That's, Are you that's on true. 100? I'm on 97. 97? Okay, I'm yeah. on 98. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. We need, you ready? We need, we need another... Uh... What's that? We need another session. Oh. <laughs> another session. Yeah, no, I'm let's lock in. Let's lock in there for this one, bro. Let's lock in. I want to make the most out of your time. Yeah, <laughs> so, lock in, bro. Yeah. So right now, first things first is when you're in a gunfight, okay, how we're approaching it is I want to either slide cancel, jump, or slide. Okay, so for example, let's see you're standing there. I want to either slide cancel, okay, Wait, don't kill me, don't kill me. I just want to show you. So I want to either slide cancel like this, or I want to jump. Okay? Or I want to, like, slide. I want to slide. So it depends on the scenario. So for this gunfight, if you were standing there, I would probably jump across like that. But the problem is, as I'm jumping across, if you shoot me, you're probably going to kill me. There's too much gap here. So oh, I would yeah. probably play this a bit smarter. I would say that this isn't a gunfight I want to take. So I would try to go through a different angle. I would go through and maybe do this. Okay, I would go through and I'll jump inside here. Remember, look at your minimap. This for me is a lot easier to take because this, I feel like I can win this gunfight a lot more. I can jump and win this gunfight. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is working on your jumping and centering. So could you stand here for me? We're going to practice this. If you stand here for where I am, this is your starting spot. This area here, okay? This, uh, this is your starting spot, this wooden plank. So I'm going to be standing here. All I want you to do is I want you to jump around the corner and center towards me. And then just shoot yeah, like jump one bullet. Which corner? Jump around so, which so, corner. So like this. This is what I want you to do. I want you to jump like this. I'm going to be standing here. All I want you to do is I want you to jump around the corner. As you're jumping, I want you to try have your crosshair where I am. Okay. So go Tell for it. When. Go for it, bro. Don't have to kill me, but try out. So now watch the kill cam come back for a second. Watch the kill cam. Now, talk to me through that. First of all, from your POV, how did you find that? Second of all, just looking at it back, do you think, you know, maybe something we work on? What do you think about that whole thing? Uh, you're pretty much open, but yep. I'm not. So maybe if I would have jumped. Um, so I think you jumped my... fine. I think everything there was fine. The only thing was, was that your centering was slightly off when you went to shoot me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? My centering was off. So let's try again. Let's try again this time. I want you to try and kill me, but if you miss your initial shots, right? If you miss your shots, then go back yeah. and jump again. I don't want you yeah. to just stand there and spray me. I want you to try and center onto me. You're ready. Go for it, bro. Good. So now the only thing I can say, I'm going to watch it back and see, is I'm watching it back, I'm seeing. So I want you to watch my kill cam and tell me the difference. I want you to tell me the difference between your centering and mine when you're jumping, okay? Could you stand where I was? Perfect. Ready? Ready, yeah. bro? Let's go. Ready. So I want you to watch the kill cam and let me know 
what the difference was because I think there was a few differences there. Uh, once, are you, yeah. Are you, are, you, are you are you jumping while you're shooting at me? Absolutely. So I'm jumping while I'm shooting, and uh -huh. and my initial centering was a lot higher. So something we're going to work on is your initial centering. Can you see at the start you were looking at the floor, right? So what you're going to have to do then? Watch yeah. the kill cam for me. Watch the kill cam for me. Right yeah. now I'm looking at the floor. If I see you, then I have to aim up. That's going to take another two seconds that I don't need to do. That just yeah. wastes time for no reason. Now, when you're going up against a player that's, let's say he's better than you, and he's mm -hmm. on a head glitch, and right. you're looking at the floor, you're giving him time to kill you. Right. Okay? So that's called centering. That crosshair placement is what you want to work on. You want it to be mm -hmm. where you expect him to be. So stand back here for me. Let's try this again. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with our centering, right? So we expect him to be level. So I want you to pre-aim the top of the bar for me. Can you start like pre-aim exactly where I am now? Okay? Okay. Perfect. Now, what I want you to do is take a step back. Now I want you to jump. As you jump, I just want you to move your right stick slightly right. So where are that, you going to be at? So that my right... So I want you to jump on your right stick. I want it to be based around here. So give you it a go. Me, you want me on this plant that's by the TV or no? Wherever you want, bro. So this is your starting spot. All I want you to do is I want you to jump around the corner, but I don't want your crosshair to be low. I want it to be level so that you can yeah. jump around the corner and shoot me. You so want go me to for kill it. you or no? Go for it. Try it. Try it. Let's stop again. So that jump wasn't as clean as it want, as it could be. What do you think? Yeah. Do you think you can make it cleaner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let cool. Let's go for it. it. Make it clean. If you're gonna like mess it up, then back away and do it again. Okay. I want to see if you can do it clean. What do you think? Oh my god. That was clean. <laughs> oh you shit. You think it was clean? It got cleaner. That was a lot better. A lot better than your first time. I think we can still make it cleaner. But that was a lot better. Okay. So that was step one. Step one: jump around the corner and center. Really good stuff. Now, so once you jump land and you're sh go for it. What were you gonna say? So, do you center before you jump or after? You always center. You always center. Oh. You always adjust it. So, first of all, my centering's high. As I'm jumping, um, it's staying high. As I'm sliding, it's staying up. It's always where I expect them to be. So, I expect you to be there. So, my crosshair is always going to be there. So, as I'm jumping, I'm moving my right stick with me. I'm always tracking my, cr my uh, opponents with my crosshair. Watch the kill come for me. Watch the kill come. You can see my crosshair is always with me. So when I jump, it's going lower. When I'm uh, crouching, it's going higher. It's just, it's just minuscule adjustments. Just mini adjustments so that it's moving with me, not against me. Oh, what you were doing okay. is you were, you were kind of running and then moving your right stick. They need to be together, not separately. And that's a very common problem. But yeah, we need to work. So right now, you don't want to run and then look left. No, we want to run and look left. So as we're sliding, we're looking together. You want to be gliding or through the map, not kind of walking and, and left and right, left and right. Because it's actually a lot harder for you to snap on people, though. Yeah. Yeah? Makes sense? Yeah, makes sense. Perfect. Totally. So now come back towards me, and we're going to go through step two now. So step, step two, two is once you've done that, so you've done the, the snap, you've got the shot off. As you're landing, you want to either carry on the jump. Okay? So one way you can do it is you carry on the jump. So as you land, you jump again. Should you try that? Oh, okay. I'm and this is going to give you like a little, it's going to give you like a little bunny hop effect. So go for it again. Try and kill me. Do I slide in and jump or no? So for now, we're going to work on just, just running and jumping a little bit. Then we'll work okay. on the slide. For now, let's just run and jump and then jump again. When you're jumping again, you want to carry on your momentum. So let's give it a go and then we'll, we'll see how it looks. Not bad, not bad. The only thing I would say is just that release of the jump. We want to jump a little bit earlier because think about it. If the opponent is standing by that door, you want to be jumping before they see you. Like I want to be able to, like, if I'm pre-aiming you, you should be jumping as you're approaching the door. If you're jumping when I've already seen you, I can kill you. Wait, wait. Do you have a scuff? Yeah. So, so when you, you aim in, are you jumping as well? Are you pressing the buttons both together? So right now I'm running. So as I'm right now, as I'm as I'm aiming in, uh, as 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 soon as I press jump, I'm aiming in. So 
So right now, as soon as I press jump, I'm aiming in and I'm shooting. So let me show you. So right now, I'm aiming in. If you watch the kill cam, they're basically uh. the same time. They're literally the same time. I don't aim in, then jump, because you're slower. I aim in, then I jump. You aim in, and you jump. Sorry, sorry. I jump, and then I aim in. The so second jump, I jump... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second I jump, I aim in. Because if you aim in, then jump, you're slow, because yeah. you're in ADS. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah? Okay, that sounds way more... Uh, yeah? So just like a yeah. small tip there. So right now, there's two ways of doing it. So the first way is if you stand there for me, if I aim in and then I jump, I'm a lot slower around the corner, okay? If I if I jump and then aim in, I'm a lot faster around the corner. So that's what you want to kind of do. Do you want to give it another go? Okay. Yeah. Go for it. You could do it from here. You could do it from here just to mix up the angle. So same thing. If you stand here, you're going through this area. So I want you to jump around the corner and aim huh? in. Just start here, please. Hey, hey. You want me to jump and then uh, keep jumping or you just want me to jump? Yeah, go for you? it. Jump. Oh, we jump. Jump again, and as you're jumping, you're shooting me. Like this, okay. like this. So imagine you're there, I do this. So this is called cameraing. Can you stand here for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how I want it to look on your screen. Ready? Wait, wait, stand, just stand here and watch. Uh, just stand here and watch from like, so you can see the whole thing, yeah? Stand here yeah, for me, bro. Moving. If you stand here and turn around and just watch there. So imagine you're pre me. Try and kill me, okay? From there, try and kill mm -hmm. me. Ready? How did that look on your screen? One second, let me look at it. But how did that look on your screen though? Because you're gonna see from oh, my POV. Shit. Yeah. As in, as in from your POV, no, but from your POV, was that hard to play against, or how did you find that? Like if you're pre-aiming um, someone and they do that, is that kind of? It, it you're pre-firing me right there, so I don't think anybody's gonna pre-fire that <laughs> spot, you know, like that. Yeah. But um, but yeah. Well, the thing is, it's not really pre-firing. That's kind of the camera thing, though. It looks like it's a pre-fire, but realistically, I'm jumping around the corner. Because I'm cameraing you, I'm seeing you a second before you see me. Okay? Yeah. So that, that's the whole camera effect. Let's try it again. Okay. Are you noticing even that kill come there? Do you notice how you moved your right stick slightly up? That means your initial centering was a little bit off. So you just want to make sure that when you're practicing against bots, like you're saying you're warming up, right? Make sure to have your crosshair where it needs to be. Okay? Cause you know how okay there's a video where you explain how your crosser yeah you gotta make sure you aim in for the chest yeah because if you aim in for the chest your recoil goes up a little bit so if you aim in for the chest most yeah. lucky you can get a headshot right yeah definitely well you can also go for the head but then you have to be more careful with the recoil control so like you said if you aim for the chest and the gun naturally shoots it will hit headshots so you want to yeah. aim for the upper chest, which is kind of like the lower head area. But again, it's very fine tuning. If you get your shots off, even in the stomach, it will be okay. But if you want those headshots, then I would recommend aiming for the upper chest. Absolutely. Oh, okay. You got it spot on. But do you want to go again? So I want you to try it for me. And how far? Okay, never mind. How far? What were you going to say? No problem. No, I was going to say, how far do you need to be to, to hit the chest? And how far do you need to be to hit the, the head to get a headshot? Again, it's, it's not really like a certain kind of number or science to it. There probably is. But again, it, for me, it's more about the feel. Because I'm quite used to controlling the recoil, I just have a feel for it. So if right now, if I saw you there, I probably would just shoot you in the head because you're closer. But if I was a bit uh, further away and I was, I knew the recoil would kick a bit more, right? Because it's a further distance and I'm shooting more bullets. I would probably just shoot you at the, at the chest if I could. So right okay. there, if I saw you right now and I, I'm aiming at your chest, I would just shoot. I wouldn't wait to get a headshot. It's kind of just like a general thing, though. You you should try to aim for the upper chest, lower head area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's kind of, yeah. Right. I want you to try that jump for me again. I want you to jump All around right, the let's corner. Go, let's, go. Let's, yeah, go. Go. let's go for it. Go, go, go. Double jump around the corner. Go for it. Go, go. I want you to do it to me. I want you to do it to me. I'm standing here, yeah. So go around the corner and try jumping. Perfect. Do it again. Okay, that was good. Do it again. But as you land, I want you to jump one more time. So get ready. I'm going to come back there. Do that again, okay? As soon as you land, I want you to jump again. That wasn't bad. That was good. So, what you learned in that kind of the first session, you're centering and then jumping and centering. So, 
what we need to do is spend some time working on that component, okay? Because that's a very big, big part. If you can work on the centering and your movement while centering, it will allow you yeah. so much flexibility to win more gunfights. And the next session, mm -hmm. we can add some more advanced things like slide cancelling, uh, jump shot, drop shot, just a bit more advanced movements. But that's going to be it for episode one, uh, YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed that session with a boy fresh. Make sure to show him some love down below. And yeah, let's catch you guys it. for another one uh, later on today. Peace.